So you're looking at the Museum of Nature and the park just on the east side of the Museum of Nature and the camera's going to slowly pan around so you can see Elgin Street and we're at the south end of Elgin at our newest listing at 437 Elgin and it's a triplex. Now this is between Argyle and Park Street and as I said we're across from the uh, museum. We're only a couple of minutes walk down to the canal that way. Uh, grocery store and LCBO just down there uh, within a probably a less than a five minute walk and of course we got all the restaurants, shops, services and everything that Elgin has to offer right up there. So come on inside with me and we'll show you the building. So here we are inside of 437 Elgin Street. Let me tell you a little bit about the property before we take you on a tour of it. Now, typically when we make these movies about our listings, I want to portray the property in the best light possible, but I still need to be realistic. I don't want to over-promise and under-deliver. So I think when you come to this triplex, you will not be disappointed. It was constructed in approximately 1930, and for a building of this vintage, it appears to be in just wonderful, wonderful shape. In fact, it was gutted right down to the studs uh, in the 1980s, so all the expensive, important infrastructure, wiring and plumbing and all those things, that has all been updated, so you don't have any of those costly problems moving forward. Now, this building could be suited for tenancies or for an owner to occupy this unit that we're in here, which the current owner did at one point. So let me tell you a little bit about the specifics. The exterior um, starting off, the roof and the skylight were put in in 2012 and we have a membrane roof up there. Now the um, outside the owner had the uh, masonry inspected and repairs made in, uh, well just last year, last year 2021 right? And this entire unit was repainted basically you know a month ago. Um, the building was fire retrofit a month ago uh, in December of 2021. Now, in terms of the common areas here, the carpet was replaced at a cost of about $2,500, uh, The masonry work I just told you about, $6,500. Um, now, in this unit here, the main bath was totally renovated. We'll show you that in, in a moment. All of the windows were replaced in uh, late 2021. Uh, we have a couple of fire rated windows that were replaced at a cost of $6,400, just two windows, $6,400 in order to obtain that fire retrofit certificate I just told you about. Uh, we'll show you some louvered windows for fire protection that were done at a cost of $17,000. And the other windows, uh, the owner spent about $6,500 replacing them as well. And this uh, front window it's got a sound deadening quality to it so you don't hear any of the outside noise um, and all of the units in here by the way they have their own washer and dryer so let's get started with this uh, apartment one and again apartment one occupies the main floor and the second floor so the cameraman will pan around and um, show you that it has a, a fireplace here in the living room and as he goes around, you'll see um, the hardwood floors and the window at the back of the property. That is one of the uh, fire rated uh, windows that I just uh, told you about that costs about $3,200 for that one alone. Okay, we'll show you the same room now, just from a different angle, the cameraman will pan around, but I did want to show you one um, feature, is, is that we do have a two-piece powder room uh, on the main floor as well, which is very unusual for uh, a building of this vintage. And now we'll give you a couple of different angles of the kitchen and uh, a very large eating area off the kitchen. The dining room is quite spacious for, for an apartment. And by the way, all of the kitchens have a dishwasher as well. So we'll just let the cameraman do his thing and pan around for you.
So here we are on the second floor of the main apartment, and this again is a two bedroom apartment, and we've got new Berber carpeting here, and the cameraman's just going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough to show you uh, the room. And this is really, really a significant sized primary bedroom. And as we pan around, I'm going to the laundry room very conveniently located on the second floor here, by the way. And up here, the washer and dryer were uh, just purchased in uh, 2017, as was the dishwasher, by the way, down in the kitchen. And through this way, this is what we call a cheater ensuite bathroom because it services both the primary bedroom and the other uh, bedroom here. And this was just completed at the end of December of 2021. And they really did a very good job with uh, renovating this bathroom. A very large stand up shower, as you can see. All right, now we want to show you the view from the primary bedroom of apartment one. And the cameraman's going out to your own private little balcony. And you can see uh, the proximity to the park and uh, the museum. And here we are in bedroom number two of the uh, apartment. Cameraman's just going to uh, give you a pan to show you uh, how big it is. And we've got a double door closet, which is very unique for, for an older home as well. And now we're in apartment number two. This is on the third floor. And the cameraman's going to show you that just off of the foyer, there's an alcove with a little bit of storage space. The bathroom was uh, back there on your left. And walking down the hallway, it's a one bedroom apartment, by the way, and that's the uh, one bedroom. And then further down the hallway, we'll take you into the kitchen and uh, living area. Okay, so now we'll uh, show you what the apartment looks like from this end of things. Um, in here, by the way, all the units have their own uh, washer and dryer, and this one's no different. You can see a stackable washer and dryer. And then the cameraman's going to pan around and show you the kitchen and the living area. And as he goes around, you'll, you'll see that there's a uh, functioning wood burning stove. Okay, so now we'll show you the same uh, living room uh, area that uh, is just from a different angle. And as the cameraman approaches where I'm standing, directly above me is a, a very large skylight to really brighten up this area as well. So we're in the basement of the property now, and this is a bachelor apartment. Now, before I go in and show it to you, I do want to show you investors out there um, a couple of things in here. This is a, uh, a room at the front of the property, uh, or the front of the apartment, and you can see that it too has got its own washer and dryer. The electrical panels are all on circuit breakers. You'll see copper plumbing in there, and also uh, there's two electric hot water tanks. And in a moment, we'll show you where the third electric hot water tank is. So come on with me, and we'll show you a little bit more of the uh, apartment. And the cameraman will uh, show you uh, what, what the bathroom looks like. It is a, a three-piece bath with a stand-up shower. Okay, so down here, here's a really neat multi-purpose room, I think. <clears throat> this could be an office space. It could be a massive, massive walk-in closet. <clears throat> I think that I would use this space as a small bedroom. 
and I know I called it a bachelor apartment and that's what it legally is, but you could put a uh, single or a twin bed in here and have this as your your bedroom so that the rest of the apartment could be more of a traditional apartment. So again, rather than using this as a traditional bachelor apartment, I would set up a small dining area here and the cameraman's actually standing in what would be a rather spacious living room. So if you come on over here, there's a couple of cool things I wanna show you about this kitchen. Now, what we're looking at here is, um, it doesn't have a regular stove per se, but it's got a four burner cooktop, convection microwave oven, it even has its own dishwasher, and in here is the third hot water tank. Again, very important because the tenants here pay for their own heat and hydro, and over here there's a refrigerator and a freezer. This is such a well-equipped uh, and a, a wonderful layout for a bachelor apartment. And the cameraman's just going to pan around a little bit more. You can see the uh, um, fireplace area, a little bit of a bookshelf, etc. That you know that that whole area would serve as just a wonderful little, uh, well, not so little actually, uh, living room. So let's talk about revenues here and a couple of vacant apartments. The owner was waiting until tenants left so that he could do the extensive renovations that you've seen in parts of this building. Now that that's completed and the property's on the market, what we're looking at is a projected rent of this main floor apartment, again, that's a two bedroom apartment, of $2,000 per month. The basement unit that we just showed you, we're looking at a projected rent of $1,100. And apartment three, that has an actual rent of $1,007. And the parking out back projected at $150 per month. Now that is probably going to be allocated to this unit being the largest one, or if an owner buys it and lives here, that would be their parking space. In terms of the total income, that gives us an annual gross of 51,084, 51,084. Now, here's the great news about this building. It's electric baseboard heating, so the tenants pay heat and hydro. So your expenses are extremely low for a building of this type. In fact, they're only 10,800. So what the owner pays for is insurance, taxes, water, sewer, and snow removal. That's it. So your NOI on that is 40,284. Again, net operating, operating income, 40,284. So we'll almost finish with that. What we wanna do is go outside and show you a little bit of the back of the property and that's it. So thank you for watching this video. And now we just want to end this off by showing you the uh, three hydrometers and again stressing that it's the tenants who pay for the uh, heat and hydro here. And uh, as we start out the movie, me telling you that the owner paid a significant amount of money to have this property fire retrofit, we do want to show you the two metal boxes above a couple of the windows here and those are metal uh, louvered shutters that come down in the event of a fire and it's all part of the uh, fire retrofit certificate that we do have on file for interested parties.